Lord, make the people say, yeah. make your heart beat like, come on, F, make the people say, yeah. make ill beats like, come on, Lord, make the people say, yeah. make your heart beat like, come on, F, make the people say, yeah. make ill beats like, what up, what up, what up, YouTube, it's your boy Lord back again with another unboxing, it's the moment, y'all, this is the moment I've been waiting for, y'all, that's right, Right behind me, feast your eyes, feast your eyes on Prime One Studios, ultimate, and I do mean ultimate, Museum Masterline, one-third scale, Bane vs. Batman statue. Now this statue is based on the American comic book published by DC Comics, where Bane made his debut in Batman, Vengeance of Bane, issue number one. Now it all started with Bane being forced to become a test subject of a mysterious drug known as Venom, which nearly kills him at first, but then he survives and finds its effects to enhance his physical strength. Now with this drug, he has to take it every 12 hours through these cables, pumping it directly into his brain. Now this statue depicts a scene out of the comic book where Bane has an epic battle against Batman, which is considered to be one of the most popular battles in past comics. Now Bane is well known to be an adversary of Batman, but out of all enemies, he is known to be the only one to have broken the bat, physically and mentally. That's right, y'all. My man right here broke Batman's back. He's one of the most dangerous villains because he's mixed with brute strength and he's highly intelligent. So you know what? Ooh, you know I'm pumped like my man right here for this unboxing. So let's put an end to the yapping. Enough of this chit-chatting. And let's get started with the unboxing, y'all. Let's go. Come on, boys. Big statue. It's a big Exclusive version. 
So the di difference between the regular and the exclusive is with the exclusive, you'll get two switchable portraits. All right? Now, as intimidating as this box art looks, you all wish me luck putting this statue together. Let's get started, y'all. Okay, first, we're gonna begin with the base. Excuse my language, y'all, but holy shit. Look how massive this base is, man. God. Holy shit. All right, and let me just show you guys how the base looks from a top view. I mean, this is crazy. The, the base itself is like a statue alone. Holy cow. All right, so we're gonna assemble this base. Right now we have about seven pieces of wood that we're gonna apply to this base and Batman's hand. So we're gonna first get started with inserting Batman's hand into this keyhole here. All right, now for the wood pieces. Now with the wood pieces, you just gotta make sure you match the color that's on the wood to the color that you find in each keyhole. All right, so this is white. This is red. This is bronze. This is orange. how the base looks assembled tough y'all but I got it in you guys are 360 Next, we're gonna assemble his buckle, his belt buckle.
Next, we're gonna assemble Bane's left fist. All right, just wanna show you guys a comparison. Look at this. It's crazy. This fist is ridiculous. All right, now, this is another part that you're gonna have to be careful with and just, you know, shove it in to make sure it gets in the keyhole nice and flushed. Next, we're gonna assemble Bane's Venom Tank. All right, so this is where he gets all his venom from. It's juiced up. Now we're going to assemble Bane's strap buckles. We're getting close to the end, y'all. Now, we're gonna assemble Bane's regular portrait. Or for those of you who have the exclusive version of the statue, you can swap it out with the exclusive portrait. I like to call this the damage expression. Last but not least, we're gonna assemble the cables to Bane's Venom Tank. Okay. First cable is gonna be a short cable, go from the back of his head. Into the top hole in his tank. Second cable will be the longest cable, going from the second hole in his second bottom pull this tank. Into top of his bicep here. The third cable, another short cable going into the bottom of his bicep. Juiced up.
pandemic would piss me off too if my gym got shut down. <laughs> Alright, this is my favorite portrait that I chose to leave this statue ass. It's the exclusive. Alright, I'm not gonna have the statue stand like this. Alright, you gotta turn that away, homie. That's right, face the audience. Alright, where was I? Alright, this is my favorite portrait that I chose to leave the statue ass. It's the exclusive portrait, all right? There's so many things I can start with about this statue. I mean, just the size itself, it's just bananas. It's amazingly big, it's huge. I don't know what all that just said made sense, but it is freakishly huge, all right? Starting with the base, I mean, the base alone is a statue itself. I mean, I mean, yeah, I have never seen a base this amazing looking in my entire life, ever. If Prime would wanted to, they could sell this alone itself as a statue. They pretty much have the entire body of Batman in his base. That's crazy. Now, if you guys look closely, you'll see the amazing detail that they uh, they put into this base here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta admit. Let me take that back. I gotta admit they didn't put as much detail into the base because obviously it's the base but still it's, it's still good enough if you look closely you see the detail in his uniform okay you'll see the scratches and the blood stains and then also you'll find the texture of the uniform to pop out and if you touch it you'll feel the the texture of his uniform okay they did a great job in the detail of the muscles throughout his uniform his abdominal muscles his, his chest and if you look up further at his portrait, they did a great job on that too in the detail. You'll see like a shade around the cheek and the chin area. And if you look even more closely, you'll see stubbles, you know, to give you that realistic look of, of like a five o'clock shadow. They did a great job in the detail in his teeth. And if you look around his mouth area, you'll see uh, blood running down his mouth, you see blood stains around his mouth. And also, if you look closely in his teeth, you'll also find blood throughout his teeth. So that's great, that's a great job right there. Even further, all right, we all, we all see we all see that Batman's getting his ass whooped and his, his body is pummeled into the mud and dirt from, uh, from Bane. But as you look closely, they did a good job on the detail of the mud and the dirt. They also added a, like a gloss effect to it, you know, like a shiny gloss effect to make it like a realistic look, like as if the mud is still wet, still moist, so that's cool. All right, you'll also find pieces of wood scattered about. It's a nice effect, and the detail of the rocks, they did a great job. Okay, now let's take a look at the back of the base. You'll, you'll find more pieces of uh, wood scattered about, and also a broken wooden crate. And if you even look closer, you'll see broken bottles. Okay, broken pieces of bottles. It's only a few broken bottles, but it's good enough. It's good enough for the base. Give it a nice cool effect. Now, looking up further at Bane's boots, you'll see nice detail from Prime One. Okay, you'll see the scuffs, the marks. Okay, the wear and tears. Also the detail in the metal, the metal around his uh, boots, leading up to the straps and the buckles around the boots. They did, a, they did an okay job on the detail in that. And going up further, they did a great job on the pants. Again, you'll see, you'll see the texture pop out. All right, if, and if you take a feel, if you feel on it, you can feel the texture in the pants. So they did a great job on that with the pattern. Nice detail in the pockets. The detail is okay in the belt. The belt buckle also. Okay, and now that we're looking at the belt buckle, we're gonna look at Bane's fist, which is ridiculous. If you all saw earlier the comparison to my fist and uh, Bane's uh, fist, 
It's ridiculous, but they did an excellent job in the detail when it comes to the wrinkles that you'll find in, on the knuckle area and also the detail with like the fingernails is amazing. Yes, the, the fingernails is amazing. Okay. And they did a great job with the the paint. They did a great job with the paint job. If you look closely, the, the paint work that they did, you'll it, they give you like a, a realistic feel uh, of the dirt, the dirt that you'll find on his on his fist. And even you'll you'll find dirt underneath his nails too. They did an excellent job in that. So excellent job in the, in the paint job, man. Excellent work on the paint job. Alright? And working your way up. Great detail in the tank top, the pattern of the, of the tank top. Okay, and then you'll look at his arms. <laughs> his arms are ridiculous. As you look closely, you'll see the veins popping out to give you an idea of, of the venom that's pumping through his veins from, through, through, from his tank, you know? So that's a cool effect right there. The detail in his triceps, biceps, shoulders, forearms, it's just bananas. I mean, this guy is jacked up. Okay? And then as you move up further, back to the tank top, not only the pattern is great detail, but you'll also find, uh, you'll find wear and tear in the, in the tank top. Uh, you see the rip right around his chest area, and also the bruises and blood stains there. Okay, to show that he is really in an epic battle right now against Batman. Okay, going up further, you'll see the detail in his muscles, top of his chest, and also going up to his neck. Okay, you'll find great detail in that. You see the veins popping out of his neck also. Okay, and they did an excellent job, by the way, with the with the uh, the straps, the strap buckles also. That's cool. It's nice detail. All right, going up further now. Let's talk about the portrait. The portrait. I mean, this this, this is the main reason why I chose this portrait. This portrait, this portrait itself, just makes you feel like Bane is in an epic battle against Batman, and he is not. He is not backing down. He is out to kill Batman with the rage in his face. They did an excellent job with the with the expression in his face. All right, as you look further in the portrait, they did a good job in the detail and it was mask with his mask tearing apart. I like that effect. Okay, and around his mouth, you'll see the uh, the blood around his mouth running down. And if you look closely between his teeth, you'll also see the blood which is excellent, it's amazing. Great job of the detail of the teeth. And if you look closely inside his mouth, they did a good job with, with his tongue also. Okay, going up further. Again with the mask and the tearing, it's, it's crazy. Now up to the eyes. Well, around the eyes, you'll also find bruises. Okay, around the cheek area, you'll see bruises. Showing that, you know, it's possible that Batman Batman gave him a nice two-piece, you know? Just to make him go, be go berserk. All right, if you look into the eyes, you'll also see a shade of green in his eyes. His, his, uh, his right eye, you'll see a shade of green. Just to give you an idea, that venom, that venom pumping through his veins. It's just enraging him right now. He's just feeling a lot of rage right now. And you'll see it in his eye, okay? So that's a cool effect. So yeah, man, this is the reason why I chose this, this portrait right here. Man. It's, it's, it's nothing better. That regular is okay, but this this right here, can't top it. Can't top it. This is what makes the statue right here. This is the reason why I got the statue, is that portrait right there. And let's also look at his back. I almost forgot the cables. I like how they, um, they gave you actual, you know, um, Plastic, uh, plastic cables to insert in these holes, you know what I'm saying? Give it like a realistic look, okay? And uh, the detail of the tank, they did a good job also. All right, if you read, if you read 
carefully these like warning labels and stuff like that on like electrical shock or something like that but it's cool i like it i like it man definitely everything about the statue i have no regrets making this purchase no regrets okay so there you have it folks your unboxing from primal studios ultimate museum masterline one-third scale bane vs batman statue now, I gotta say, I was really excited about doing this unboxing because I pre-ordered this over a year ago. I would say about since August 2019, and I finally got it delivered to me over a week ago. So, I was real anxious and I couldn't wait to do this unboxing. So, I'm real glad that this time finally arrived. Now, this statue stands about 33 inches tall of pure muscle, okay? And it's about 28 inches wide and over 26 inches deep. Now, the statue itself weighs about 90 pounds. Again, I repeat, the statue weighs about 90 pounds. So I would be a fool to think that I could display this on my top shelf. Alright? So I'm definitely displaying this on my bottom shelf because this, this statue is a beast. It's a monster. Okay? Again, the statue weighs about 90 pounds. Now, pros and cons. The cons about this statue, um, in case you guys forgot earlier... You witnessed me trying to assemble the bottom half of Bane's body into the base. I had a hard time doing that. And just keep in mind, for those of you who plan on ordering this statue, that you, if you get to this part, you may find yourself having to uh, shimmy the bottom half of his body and force it into the keyhole, okay? Again, you may have to shimmy it and force it into the keyhole until it's flush. I don't know if it's because of how big the statue is or something, but... I, I ended up having to do that, and it became a real pain to me to, to you know, do all that maneuvering just to get the bottom half into the base. And also, you'll find yourself doing that with the fist, too, okay? With the fist, it's pretty tight to get that into the hole, so you'll, you'll find yourself forcing the fist uh, to insert it into that hole also, all right? But those are, that's basically my cons about the statue. Now, the pros on the statue is, again, the, the detail... The, the size of the statue, and m most of all, the, the base. The base is like a statue itself, so it's like I have two statues. It's like a two for one. I, you can't beat that deal, <laughs> for real, all right? And also the portrait. The portrait is what attracted me into making this, um, you know, pre-order. I mean, the expression on his face, it's like he has so much rage, he, he wants to beat the living crap out of Batman and kill him. So I, I love everything about this portrait. Alright, so I definitely have no regrets making this purchase, alright, and I'm sure those of you who are planning on, you know, ordering this statue, you won't be disappointed also, alright? So, also, New Year is coming, I hope everybody enjoys their New Year, Happy New Year, uh, be safe, and I pray that 2021 is going to be a better, a much better year than 2020, because we all know how crazy and effed up 2020 has been, so... I hope all you guys have a happy new year. Be safe and enjoy. Alright? Now, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did in unboxing the statue. And if you did enjoy watching this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. It's your boy Lloyd, and I'm out. Make the people say, make your heart beat like seven M. Make the people say, make ill beats like Lord. Make the people say.